Hey, good morning and welcome to Smithy's Over 100 Golf Courses in a year. Uh, today it's Friday the 30th of September. Uh, just been playing a couple of days in the Mizuno Golf Pairs, it's in Melian. Moved up from there, we're now uh, all coming to Ashbury Golf Club, there's four courses here. I'm going to play the Beaches course, this will be course number 174. Try to get it done quickly before some horrendous weather that's coming in, windy and raining. So we'll see how far we get, well I'll stick it out anyway, but let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 174 of 2022. It's Ashbury Golf Club Beaches course on the tee. The man thanking the staff at St Melian Golf Course for giving him a jump start in the car this morning after his battery was flat. Serves him right for leaving his lights on the other day from Kirk and Tillich in Scotland. Smithy! This is the opener at the Beaches course at Ashbury. It's uh, 379 yards. Par 4, oh, I can see the flag from here, wind behind. I've creamed a drive with the wind behind me at the first. Bunker to the left here, that's the view of the first green. Have to put it out to the right. That's the second hole, uh, it's a nice par 3, 173 yards. Road running across. I need a dip. Looks good. Uh, third hole at Ashbury Beaches, 355 yards. Ah, oh, it's a huge drop down one. That means we're going to have to come back up the hill again at some point. 355 yards, par 4. I think it's safe straight on the board. The wee card says there might be a fade to the left, we'll see. That's just looking down to the third hole. Uh, it's still a big drop down. Could have done with a bigger drive actually, taking the next level and drop down even further. Looking up the fourth at Ashbury Beach, it's 385 yards. All the way up the hill, a tough, tough hole this one. Fifth hole at Ashbury Beaches, 348 yards, par 4. Sweeping roller coaster fairway, sloping left to right. You can see the green up over the crest. That's the view from a 6T at Ashbury Beaches. Can't really see much, 299 yards, par 4, up over the hill. Let's we'll see where it lies in wait. And you come over the hill, look down to 6 green. Uh, there's a ditch left and right, but it's filled in in the middle. So sort of straight down, big wide green, pin on the left hand side of the green. I'm taking a look down the 7th, 395 yards, downhill, dog leg to the right. That's the dog leg opening up at the 7th, look down to the green. 8th hole, par 3, 179 yards, straight down. I was racing around the first 7, hoping to beat the weather, but I've now got 5 4 balls in front of me, a society in front of me, so I'm not going anywhere fast. So I'm going to be a wee bit of sheltering in the trees, hope it doesn't get too bad. Down the ninth, into the front half at the Asprey, 309 yards. Uh, straight down between the trees. Ah, uh, second shot to the green at the ninth. Oh, uh, about 25 feet away, but it's on the dance floor, birdie opportunity for the Smithy ball. Tenth hole, 182 yards, slightly rising uphill. Uh, just waiting in this horrible weather that's due to come. Uh, I've got lucky in the front nine so far. 11th hole at Asbury Beaches. 474 yards, par 4. Constantly rising. We ditch in front and then when you get up nearer the green there's a few ponds according to the board. So all the guys, five groups in front of all in trolleys. But sticking to the trolley path so it takes an age while they're walking out onto the play their shots. Wind's getting up. And this is a look up at the part 5 11th. And so there's a yellow stick, so the pond there, pond to the right, pond in front, uphill shot to the green. Two earth hole, part 3, 167 yards. Rain on a wee bit heavier now. 13th hole at Ashbury Beaches, 324 yards. Into the dip, and then rising uphill. Weather's well, still not great. Ah, uh, if it goes, it'd have been quiet, it'd have been finished by now. Never mind. Ah, uh, looking down the 14th at uh, Ashbury Beaches. Uh, rain on slightly heavier. The water in front shouldn't take anything into account, so we'll give the stand golf ball a rest for this one. It's too near the, the hole. I'm not going in there. Uh, it's uh, going down a hill. Looks like it's going to go to the right. 15th at Ashbury Beaches, uh, par 3, 141 yards. 
Oh, just get, yeah, other group in front of me took about 20 minutes on the green there. Unbelievable. Anyway, down into the ditch and then up to the up to the green. But I'm the only person on the course without a trot or a buggy. That's the type of place, I uh, don't like it. 158 yards, half five, where we slope them left to right, straight down. Uh, we're now at a very damp uh, Ashbury Beaches. That's a look into the green at half five sixteenth. Uh, I've just come off the green. Uh, covered with water, saturated at the moment. So I've played it. Just sheltering in the trees at the moment. That's quite funny, the group in front of me. The guy says to me, uh, with the weather, he says, you'll be used to this up your neck of the woods. And I said, what place playing as slow as you lot? <laughs> yeah, difficult cheek, yeah, got to get my head kicked in the golf course one day. Patronising get that he is. Right, finally we've reached the 18th, finishing with a par 3, 165 yards, a couple of ponds down there, and we're right into the wind and it's a race green, this is a hell of a hard hole to finish off with, uh, certainly into the, the wind. Uh, rain's gone off a wee bit, it's not as bad as it was for a, a spell. So we're getting the stunt golf ball out, Esther's having a go at this one. And the Smithy Ball's on as well, so we three feet down to the 18th, uphill pot onto the next tier. But 20 foot, no chance. Oh, well, that's me finished on the 18th at a damp and soggy Ashbury Golf Club with the beaches course. Uh, there's four courses here and a nine hole par three course. Big golf resort. Well, that kind of shows itself with the, the type of people you see on here. I'm the only one without a buggy today. You know, all the types have just got out of a buggy uh, for no reason, just because they fancy it. Anyway, what it does is it makes the play really slow because the players, they can't take the buggy onto the fairways so they're all parked at the side, walking on and off the course so, five hours, uh, well, no, the people in front of me took five hours I uh, said that was normal yeah, uh, yeah, so it is uh, but, uh, no, I took two and a half hours for the last nine and hardly anything at all for the first six holes the uh, course itself, of course, was, uh, course was in very nice condition um, nothing memorable, but it's just uh, decent holes. Uh, one or two that are just a wee bit better than the others. Uh, second and third holes going down the hill. Uh, some of the par threes. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's just a, a box standard nice course. As I said, I don't know what the other courses are like here. It was just a case of with the bad weather coming in, I thought I'd maybe get on a course early. And with four courses here, it might have been one that wasn't busy. So what does the pro do? Stick me behind a bloody society. Typical. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Anyway, so I'm not best pleased. Uh, of course, itself, I'm going to give a seven and a half, but it's not my favourite place to come to, that's for sure.